again in the places, but doesn't win the stage. I think I think he will attack at some point. It's just waiting for his t for his moment. Again, I mentioned that he's about trying to get 10 seconds. He wants to get as close as possible. Maybe take it. Guillaume Martin finishes now. 3:31 down on work poles. Rodriguez. He's third overall at 4:43. Adam Yates at 5:20. Vingegaard looking over his shoulder all the time. What a race this is. It's absolutely incredible to watch. And now in a couple of hundred meters, they will uh, they will turn to the right. And this is when the road gets narrower. And you could just see, so basically that corner there, that ramp is about 16%. Pogaccio this is why the rod is... For it. Thousand meters to go. Vingegaard still starts to move. Starting to accelerate, get himself ready. Rodriguez is there. And here goes the attack. The first move of Tade Pogaccia. Well, we knew it was going to happen. Vengegaard was waiting. What an attack. But Vengegaard is cute to this today. He has the legs. He has the acceleration. 30 kilometers an hour from Pogaccia, who's just ramping it all the way to the finish line. Now he sits down. Is Vengegaard going to hit him and hit him hard? 700 meters to go. Yeah, this is uh, he went a little bit early there, I think, but he's back on the wheel of his teammate. Is he going to get a lead out? Yates looks around. He needs to keep riding because Rodriguez is just behind. Soler now puts them in the position. Three UAE riders at the top of this mountain. This team have outfoxed and outdone Jumbo Visma today. Yates is dropped. Soler gets ready to put Pogaccia into that ramp and see if he can take a little bit more time. But look at Jonas Vengegaard. Jonas Vengegaard is showing his strength as the defending champion of the Tour de France. What a ride the Danish rider is doing. This is a show of defiance and a show of strength. Pogaccia still trying. Is he going to hit him one more time? 250 metres to go and they are still locked in combat at the top of the final climb at the end of two weeks of racing. Here comes the ramp. Pogaccia is going to give it one more go but Vengegaard is stuck to him like a piece of chewing gum on your shoe. Pogaccia tries one more time. Vengegaard is still there. He knows that that's his finish line he will be in yellow and Vengegaard is going to try and go past on this turn they go shoulder to shoulder and Vengegaard is going to cross the line just ahead of Pogaccia stalemate yet again this is breathtaking I can't believe what this race is like and in fact I've, I'm still holding my breath trying to get it back <laughs> Now we wait for Adam Yates and Rodriguez. Here comes Adam Yates. How much time does he take on the line? He clocks now and goes across. Now Rodriguez needs to be in within 37 seconds of Adam Yates. The ramp is steep. Here comes Rodriguez. He's going to do it. He's going to hold on to his third place on the day. He crosses the line. I think he's got 20 seconds. Yeah, he's been a 